Hey everybody, y'all, welcome back. We're starting a road trip today. We're on a mission. You see the Tin Man in the background there. We thought it'd be fitting to start off our ride today where we left off on the last video. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. We decided we wanted to go and find somewhere that has fried chicken. It's such a small world. We should be able to find some fried chicken somewhere. Somewhere around here, somebody got some small chicken in this small world. Actually, when you're riding a motorcycle, especially Harley, it's a small world. You just go wherever. We, uh, we're we leaving Hart, Michigan, right here, and was going to go to a chicken place at Silver Lake called the Chicken Shack or Chicken Coop or something. But I took a wrong turn at Hart, and we ended up going to Pentwater. Right here, you can see that's Pentwater Lake, Pentwater River, whatever you want to call it, but that's Pentwater Lake. Most people call it that. So we're a little ways away from Silver Lake, but not far. When it's uh, over 80 in Michigan, it's always good to ride a lake shore anyways. And when we take off, Usually on our bike rides, we don't have any destination in mind anyway, so that water's a cool little place. Nice scenery there, a lot of boats on the water. You see the pet water sign. So you know I'm not making this up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this right here, when we were just before we get into town, you see all the flashing lights and everything alongside the road. I'm just wondering what happened. So we're going along and right here there's a lot of cops and, and all of that. All the popos right there. Somebody caught their boat on fire. They spilled the gas while they were filling it up in the marina. Here's the thing I took off of Facebook. You can pause there and read that if you like. But a little excitement for the day no one was hurt the boat got burnt and the dock got burnt we just happened to be there at the right time to witness that so that's what's up right there if you were wondering Pentwater by the way a little history on Pentwater this is the main street right here there's a lot of little shops and galleries and all of that stuff tons of tourists in the summertime, big time. It's a it's a neat little place. There's a nice sandy beach there at Charles Muir State Park, and it actually was one of the first settlements in Oceana County, Michigan, way back in the day. I'm not sure the exact year, but the fur traders stopped in there to trade with the Indians. Yeah, I am not making that up either. <laughs> but the main drag. You can see in the in the video right here, the main drag goes right along the lake. That water lake, all the boats stocked there. All the nice old architecture from the old days. It's just a neat little town to, to ride through, I think. Call me crazy. I just like neat little places like that. But we continued on through Pentwater. We decided not to stop and eat anywhere there. We're looking for a certain kind of place that's kind of fits bikers real well. So we're going to head north and coming up on the right here, that's Bass Lake over there. It's just, it's between Pentwater and Ludington. Nice scenic road right there, lots of curves and everything. And I was using the 360 camera to film the video right here. I was hoping it would turn out good. You can see the lake pretty well, and there's people in their boats right there and everything. But on the north shore, all the way across the lake, there is a whole ton of them huge windmills. I think that's just the coolest looking thing ever. And the wildfire smoke from Canada it has been pretty heavy around here lately so 
I didn't know how the video was going to turn out until I got home and put it in the computer, but you're watching it with me because what I see is is smoke and haze. You know, it gets hazy when you're close to Lake Michigan, which we are. But right here, if you look real close, and if you're on a big screen TV, you might be able to see a couple of them big old windmills. But we need to get back over there and take a look on a nice clear day when the wildfire smoke is gone. Because <laughs> I think that's so cool looking over there. And I wanted to share that with you guys. But I'm disappointed they didn't show up very well. That's what it is. That's what happened. When we go around a few curves and we're making our way closer to Lake Michigan. And we talked about stop it in Ludington but we didn't want to go downtown because Ludington is full of tourists too so but this road right here will bring us out here in just a minute to Lake Michigan we get a view of that guys that ride bikes they just like these windy curvy roads I don't know what it is about that but this makes it fun. It's a whole lot funner than going in a straight line. Makes you want to ride your bike more. I'm just making that up. This right here, the Bortels Fish Market. I had no idea that was there. They've been selling fish right there for 125 years. The same family. There's six generations of family doing the fish right there you can see the long lines tons of people cars on both sides of the road shoot we thought we might stop for a minute and get fish but it looked kind of busy so we kept going yeah a little interesting thing there there are a lot of things you see coming up is lake michigan it just so happens the road comes right by here the consumers energy has their power ge generation plant right down there in the water can't see real well but you can see the haze that is lake michigan down there y'all at least you can see a little bit of it thanks the canadians for not being able to see very far i guess that's what happened when you're road tripping it does you're just out for the ride and looking at the scenery anyways Nice bike right there. <laughs> I always look back, make sure Shelly's keeping up, and doing okay, you know. And it's, I could use a rear view mirror, but when I have a camera, I can check on her when I get home and put it in the computer, I guess. <laughs> That's just how I am. Yeah, this is just before we get into Ludington right here. We decided not to stop in Ludington even. Like, we're looking for, we had the, the urge for fried chicken. We want to find a little mom and pop place, you know, that's suitable for bikers and stuff. So, there's a little town called Custer that has, used to have a place called Johnny that closed because of COVID. Evidently, the hardware store did too, because that sucker's all boarded up. And my camera froze up right here, so we just stopped, took a break, and we decided we're going to mosey on down the road to see if there was another place like Walhalla. Y'all ever heard of Walhalla, Michigan? It's right here. There's maybe 10 people live there. They had a little restaurant, no fried chicken. So we're going to keep going. We're enjoying the scenery, riding through the Manistee National Forest, all the old architecture out here. It's kind of cool, you know, the rolling hills, the trees, the swamps. The road's a little curvy, all the run-down barns that are falling in. Some of the new barns are cool. I think the big old barns with the big silos on them are cool as heck. A lot of twisty roads out here that you can take. A 
right here I just got a little upside down again who, who thought you can barrel roll a street glide you know <laughs> I might be a first I doubt it but I might be I line it on the wheels there's not a whole lot of anything out there when you're riding through the Manistee National Forest really not many places to choose that's cool right there they took a lot of time to paint the top of them silos red and white and you can see them for a long ways that's actually a hill on top of a hill and you go down that hill you can see them silos stick up that's cool but we're coming towards the end of our video and you'll never guess this is right close to our house right where we started we're pulling into the VIP parking right here the owner told us it's okay to park here <laughs> we're gonna go in here and get food and no we didn't get fried chicken we lost the urge for fried chicken because we had been riding for oh, three hours or so and we're gonna stop right here close to home we go here quite often it's the high tower saloon on High Tower Lake over here in Hespo, Tucky. I got a burrito and Shelly had perch. They got the best perch around right here.